but then you can be the star. Every time they call your name and you get in the runway, you can be the star. You can show people really, you know, good stuff. And so it's like you get another chance at life every time you get on the runway. Another chance to do something really good. It's very satisfying. Tucked away in the northeast corner of the track, behind storage sheds and a small practice field, lies a strip of track, a bar, and a landing mat, the recipe of pole vaulting. And when the sprinters leave, the cross-country teams head home, and the long jumpers retire for the day, only the pole vaulters remain, practicing to literally raise the bar. Well, our school record right now is 15 feet and 7 inches, and I'd like to, uh, I'd like to essentially break that. The person who has that record is kind of my mentor, and so it would be like a friendly thing to maybe give him a run for his money. Like many other athletes of the sport, senior Javin Zolo tried pole vaulting as an afterthought. Soon, however, the adrenaline-filled art of reaching new heights won him over entirely. I started pole vaulting um, during the end of my sophomore year. I was recruited by the uh, pole vault coach off the football team. And I just came out and tried it, and it's really exhilarating. It's really different, and um, just the way you can fly essentially is like nothing else, and no other sport really offers that element of danger and excitement. So I love it. Having been a pole vaulter as well his entire life, Coach Murray Mead embraces the opportunity to shape young athletes into greatness. Every day he stays as late as he needs to, working with each and every member of the team in order to ensure that they're the best pole vaulters they can be. Coaching these kids is the most satisfying thing that I could ever do in my life. And seeing them grow and get better and learn things and you know, sharing with them their highs and lows, um, it's just an awesome, awesome experience. As the team grows in numbers with the addition of new recruits, the tight-knit nature of the group remains intact as all of the members work to improve both themselves and those around them. It's, it's a pretty tight-knit community. We're all, people don't think of pole vault as a team sport, but really we all have a certain camaraderie towards one another, and uh, we all want each other to do better, and we all help out, and everyone kind of contributes their little bit. Everyone's good at one thing, and uh, you know, the older guys help out the younger guys, and we all kind of work together. Despite the difficulty and tacticality of the sport, it offers a thrill unlike any other type of athletics. To master the sport, hard work is required, but the payoff is rewarding. I just want people to know that it's it's really exciting, it's really different, and uh, you know we work really hard. We're here year round, and um, we're usually here probably the latest on anyone on the track team. And uh, I just want people to know that you know we work really hard, and if you're interested, then please come out because we'd love to have you.